free of recording which let down too much. <laughs> Our story begins in Marlin's house. Now, Who is Marlin, you ask? Well, Marlin is a talented wizard, powerful beyond compare. Sure, he's forgetful, careless and messy, but that's not important when you are one of the most revered wizards around. Our story, however, isn't about Marlin. No, our story is about his apprentice, Steve. Steve has been with Marlin for many years. Being apprentice to the messiest wizard in the world is no easy task, but Steve excels. He spends his days tidying up after Marlin, cleaning the lab after all of his many failed spells, and indeed the successful ones. Steve has always managed to clean up after Marlin's many experiments. Even the one where he turned all of the village's sheep into slugs was a relative walk in the park for our would-be hero. This time, however, things may prove to be a little difficult. Okay. So that was well done. That was cool. Um... <coughs> I'm like, whoa. I move faster than I was expecting. Okay, I think I'm supposed to read this. Yep. There is Steve. Apologies about the mess I've left everywhere. I don't intentionally make more work for you. I'm working on something huge, you see? Something that could change the very world. I'm in my basement lab at the moment, so until I'm done, please don't disturb me. Door is locked. <laughs> Space to jump. Okay. Key for key. Oh, that was a nice prompt. I like that one. Something different. In front of you is a checkpoint. This will save your current progress through the levels. If you were to fall or get squashed, you would be brought back here. Checkpoint! Oh, fancy. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. The archway is a portal to the next world. This portal will take you to the Nexus. At the Nexus, you can select which world you want to travel to. I like how it's all voice done. That's very cool. Um, something feels a bit wrong about these trees. Maybe there's just too many of them or something. I mean, the whole island's like really small and yet there's a thousand trees here. Okay, not With a thousand. mighty Whoa. crack, everything changed. Oh. Marlin's spell had gone horribly wrong, shattering the world. Oh, I've played it, that's Where cool. great forests and mighty cities once stood, now only remnants remain. Those remnants are scattered across existence, connected only by the portals. To fix the world, our hero will need to travel between these portals, collecting all of the mysterious shards that have been scattered. The fire looks blue. Steve finds himself regaining most of his consciousness in the Nexus. Dazed here and understandably confused, he starts to explore the area around him. Before long, he sees a notice board that seems out of place, even here. It does? Why does it seem out of place? Dearest Steve, I'm afraid I'm going to need your help again, old friend. Everyone knows you are forever tidying up my messes. I've always been grateful for that. No idea the mess I would have gotten myself into years ago if it were not for you. I'm afraid that the mess I've caused this time, though, may prove a little more difficult to fix. You see, I seem to have fractured the world, and I'm going to need your help to piece it back together again. <laughs> I like that. It's like, yeah, well, I've kind of made a little mistake, but it'll all be fine if you fix it. 
Right now, you're in the Nexus, an area safe from the destruction I've caused, an area that makes all of the fractured parts of the world. I need you to travel between the different worlds, collecting all of the glowing shards you may happen across. Only once all of the shards are collected will we have any chance of putting the world back together again. I'm sorry to ask this of you, old friend, but I really need your help. The whole world needs you, Steve. Oh, hello. You're cool. Mini man. Oh, there's lots of them. And then there's targets. So this is like an indication of what's in the portal, is it? That's cool. More targets. Catapult and bridges. Interesting. Little houses and a worm. Okay. Oh, there's more. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Just gems. Trees. Because, you know, we all love trees. Right now, you're in the Nexus, an area safe from the destruction I've caused, an area that makes all of the fractured parts of the oh, world. Sorry, I didn't realize I need you to travel between the different worlds, collecting all of the glowing shards you may happen across. Only once all of the shards are collected will we have any chance of putting the world back together again. I'm sorry to ask this of you, old friend, but I really need your help. The whole world needs you, Steve. I was going to ask, ask if it made a difference which one I go in, but I see I can't actually go in these. To go in this one. Whoa. I'm in. I was going to read the name, but it kind of just went in. I think it was Fractured Forest. The Fractured Forest forms a beautiful and luscious forest spanning over a thousand acres. What I believe this the area cool. now reduced to nothing more than a few perfectly preserved slivers of its former glory. Steve soon notices the first of the shards mentioned in Marley's note. And without delay, our dutiful hero rushes off to collect all the shards he can find. Dearest Steve, I hope your journey is going well and that you are finding the shards we all so desperately need. I am sorry that I could not be there to help you on this journey, my friend. I am trapped here, you see. Not that I know where here is. I seem to be trapped in some sort of astral dimension. I do not possess the power to free myself, and fear that until the shards are collected I never will. It is taking what little magic I can save up just to send these notes to you. I do hope you are receiving them. I hope you're well, my friend. Ding. 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 Brown free. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can run, can I? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Bling. Now that is a fancy flower. <coughs> Any secrets down here? Nope. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's that? There we go. So, I've already got that one. Wee! Oh, I made it. Get to the pool. Okay, we're back in the middle. I really thought the loading screens would be longer, but actually it's playing really well. The cracked cabins. I'll be honest, this area has pretty much always looked like this. Only now, there is less of it. Steve, desperate to save his friend and teacher, strides through the great cavern. Not concerned about the danger ahead, he has but one goal, collect the shards. Well, <coughs> these are really cool. I love how they just completely glow brilliant white. Uh, I seem to have lost my prompt. Oh, it's back here. In order to get across this gap, you will need to find all of the shards. Once they are collected, this path will be open. Young Steve is first. Five more. Oh, okay. No. Get 
to the pool. Uh, okay. Do I need to jump? I guess I'm ready. Oh, well, I didn't jump very well, now, did I? <laughs> oh, hang on. How am I going to make it now? Somebody stole my stone. Oh, it's back. Okay, good. Wait, they disappeared. Oh, God. Oh, I made it. don't know how I made that, but I made it. Those stones were scarily small. Oh, I didn't notice the pools have died. I missed that the first time I came around. That's cool. It's a nice little touch. Entered suburb. Before Marlin's great spell, this was a thriving little village just outside an even more thriving city. Steve used to come here often to collect supplies. Now that the city and all the village is gone, who knows where? All that remains is this. Armed with his new spell, Steve sets off to find all the shards hidden in this area. A new spell? Hope to restore what new spell? What new spell have we got? Oh, is that there? Slingshotty thing, is it? How do I use that? Probably should have hit that checkpoint a little bit later. Uh, okay. So, how do I get across? Is there a thing I can read to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? Because clicking doesn't do anything. Oh, hello. It's a Q, apparently. Nobody told me that. Hey. Oh, I can even go in here, that's cool. Can we hidden in the well? No, okay. Oh no, it's more of these. Oh, I made it. It's fine. We're all good. Can I go in these ones? No. Didn't think so. Five more. Oh, I didn't want hit. Okay. Aim a bit of it. No. Oh, okay. Apparently I'm too far away. Okay. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, hello. <coughs> Leave me alone, I've got one more to get. There it is. Get to the pool. This is one of the oh, ancient guardians. Go. This is one of the ancient. This is one of the oh, ancient guardians of this world. Luckily, this one seems dormant, virtually indestructible. They are a force to be reckoned with. Avoid them at all times. Oh, oh. Um, ah, yeah, okay. Am I supposed to run and jump? Okay, we're fine. <coughs> Unfortunately, that image back there didn't work. But luckily, you can still hear us. So. Hmm. 
Not sure why. I mean, I assume it must be using the same script as all the others. A bit weird. Broken bridges. The broken bridges. For centuries, people have wondered who built these bridges, and for even longer than that, people have argued about what they were built for. For now, though, all that concerns our would-be hero is how he's going to collect all the shards. With these ancient bridges broken and unknown dangers ahead, Steve has his work cut out for him. I was about to ask why they're broken. I see now they are a little bit broken. <coughs> Oh, I missed one. Coming back. There we go. Okay, so I must have used this now. So I see them up there. Hello. Oh, I got it. Yeah. That's all doing great so far. Oh, okay. Almost didn't see that up there. Mm, yep, that's all. Whoa, I almost went way too far. Okay. I'm not sure if you can actually fall down in little gaps. I assume you can. I don't want to try it. Oh, hello. Hmm. Have to go this way first. Oh. Folks. Well, that went well. Uh, which way was I going? This way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was thinking I wasn't going to die for a second. Okay, so you do need to run for the big gaps. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know, I'm getting confused with the buttons here. Um, Alright, okay. You'd think it was easy uh, when you're playing it. It's really hard to judge where you're going to land. Can I just shoot from here? Oh, I can. Okay, thank you. Bing. Oh, thank God for that checkpoint. Because I really hate these bits. Made it. Oh, this one hasn't actually um, changed, which is a bit of a shame. Perhaps the um, the icons around it could have, I don't know, blocked it off somehow. <coughs> Perhaps like another bridge could have gone across there so you can't cross it or something. Tiny bugs. It's all going very well. The these islands were once part of a huge rock formation that extended into the sky. Now, nothing more than a series of difficult to reach items, Steve, feeling empowered, is ready to use his new spell. I've got another spell? What have we got now? Dearest Steve, I think you're welcome. Spectral shift, as you might do. Do not get a mark here on the road, so I can understand this. You're a danger to your family. 
That's a really nice people. Unfortunately, the music was a little bit loud, so you can't really hear the, the voice, but... Guys, I seem to have fallen and died. <coughs> um, yeah, there's no way to re start. And I seem to be stuck down here. Well, that is a shame. <coughs> So I've realised with the broken bridges that you can actually just sprint across and then just jump the big gap in the middle, this one. But you can actually just sprint across those little gaps. Stops you falling down, so it's a nice little cheek. Uh, on the previous level, while I was playing through again, I actually realised that you can normally get back to the level if you missed a few gems. There's normally something you can shoot or you know, just sort of fire at to go back through the level. Uh, but in this one, it actually seems like you can't, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, if I'd missed a gem, then I am literally stuck again. Uh, yeah, and to fix my last death, I would add a little check on every level to make sure that if you're falling through or down, Oh, I missed. <laughs> and then you will die, but obviously you need to make that always active. Otherwise it just uh, range because there's quite a few places where you can fall off, actually. I mean, I could literally walk off the edge here. And I, and that would probably mean I'd have to restart as well. Trees. So, go back to the last bit. More stones and more firing at billards or um, targets. I don't know what you want to call it. These islands were once part of a huge rock formation that extended into the sky. Now, nothing more than a series of difficult to reach patterns, Steve, feeling empowered, is ready to use his new spell. So, this is what I was talking about. You see, like, this is. There's no reason to shoot at this one, but if you need to come back and collect the gems, now we're here, we could use that. I've also noticed that he doesn't disappear when I walk away from that. Which is a very small one. I'm not actually sure. And again, save another one. 
Oh, and again. So, can I press 8? No, I can't. I died this time. Yay! There we go. I actually managed to make it. I'm glad that happened because I didn't want to do it all again. It was also a very slight placement issue in this one. It needs to be. I don't know, like something there to stop you falling down. Uh, so I need to go this way, don't I? No, oh, what? This is really confusing. I feel like I'm just going around in circles. What am I missing? to go from here. So I have to go across there. I mean just to make it even worse, it's like there's a repeating all the time just to make sure it's killing me properly. So that's not the right one. It's confusing. Whoa. Okay, I'm going 
jamming the house and everything else as well. One more! Yay! What was even there? Oh, I can't get up to it yet. Uh -huh. I want to check on Thank you. You are the best. What is this plug? Can I just walk down? Maybe I can just run down. Oh, 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 that's scary as hell. Oh no, I didn't jump. Um, Okay. Let's just get right in again. That was fun. Oh, hey! Oh! 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 Make it! Don't oh, jump! Oh. Okay. okay, we're all good. We're all good. Ah, finally, I made it free to level. So I was lucky this time, just kept firing and eventually I made it. Wow, the place has got wrecked now. Where's the big tree on? It's completely vanished. I see the bench. <laughs> oh, even the little guys are Oh no, still there. Sorry. Hello. Uh, what was flashing just now? This one. Dear Steve, only one more world to go, my friend. This one will be a true test of your abilities, though. Avoiding the Guardians will be much harder this time, as you'll be going into their home to collect the shards that are gathered there. Steve, you have done so well up to now. This is the last obstacle, my friend. Good luck. Thank you. You're so kind. Can I, can I still read? Oh, no, I can't still read them. Okay. Guardians Gate. Here we go. The Guardian Gate. This place even now should be teeming with guardians. Steve stands for a moment confused, just waiting for the guardians to show themselves, but nothing happens. All that is here is one giant shard. Steve, still wary of any guardians that may be around, eagerly approaches the final shard. Whoa, that is big shard. Oh, got it. Dear Steve, this is most unexpected, old friend. I felt for sure the guardians would be here to protect this place. I'm relieved that you have not had to face them, Steve. However, the fact that they're not here is very troubling. The situation is far worse than I first thought. You have done incredibly well collecting all of the shards this far, Steve. But I'm afraid it's not enough to fix the world. Return to the Nexus, and I will explain more. Well, that's just great. Ooh, this one seems to be floating. I don't know why that's a bad thing, considering most of the world was floating, but... That was a true test, you're quite right. It was so difficult, I didn't know what I was doing there. Dearest Steve, it is true what I said about the shards you have collected not being enough to piece the world back together. Fret not, though, old friend, it is not all bad news. The shards you have collected, plus the giant shard from the Guardian's home, contain enough power to free me from this astral prison and halt the destruction of the world for now, too. I cannot yet join you in the Nexus, Steve, but I will see you very soon, old friend. Okay then. Steve, desperate to see his friend and master, wastes no time at all and goes in search of yet more shards. He has no idea what new worlds and dangers await him, but so long as he has his friend by his side, Steve knows that together they will save the world. We will have to wait until next time to find out what happens. Okay, that was the end then. Interesting. Very nice.
well, it all played very well. Uh, as you saw, I had a minor bug with not dying almost twice. Luckily, I managed to fix it the second time. Well, I say fix, just managed to die. Um, everything else played well. Only a few minor bugs. Game's pretty well complete. Looking forward to part two.